Aww. Look at Cube cleaning his sister. Oh, now they're cleaning each other. Oh, at some point this is going to get very aggressive. But not yet. And then there's this guy. Mr. Mac. Mac, you're looking excellent today. With your little dirt dot nose. Oh. This guy's pushing his luck, I think. I don't know what he's looking right now, but... Pretty soon it's going to turn into a fight. Okay, there we go. There we go. He is good. <laughs> oh, no. No. Okay. Oh, cube. Cube. Oh, my. That was rude. Cube. Oh, no. You got it, Tess? Okay. Well, that's always what happens. And then there's this guy. He's just chilling. He just chills. Mac, you don't look so angry right now, which is very nice. You look so handsome. Like a handsome man. A handsome man cat. Look at your mane. Ugh, oh, I love you. Good morning, everybody. And uh, it's blurry. Welcome to day 12 of Vlogmas. Today is officially the 12th day. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4. I think I have one more day to create my 12 day advent calendar. When are advent calendars supposed to end? On Christmas Eve, right? So I just need to have it done by tomorrow, technically. So I need to do that today. I need to do all my advent calendars today, too, for like the past five days. Um, hello, good morning. It's 9 11. Oh. And I've been up for like. Maybe about an hour. I woke up... No. Oh. I was going to say, hold on. I woke up early, and then right after I woke up, Audrey FaceTimed me, and then she hung up on me. Let me see. Hello? Uh, hello? Why do you always hang up on me when we're FaceTiming? You don't even say bye. You just hang up. Okay. What do you mean, Okay. Where are you? I can't even see you. I'm in mom's room. Oh, why am I paused? Oh, yeah. Are you playing a game? Oh, there you go. Oh, there you are. There you are. Did you guys not go get up and get donuts today? Isn't it Donut Saturday? We don't really do that anymore. Oh. Do you, what do you do instead? You eat bagels or something? No, we we do grilled cheese sandwiches. <gasps> oh, I like that. I would I would choose grilled cheese sandwiches over donuts. I, I'm watching something. Right? I know you are. I'm father. What are you watching? Is it like a Minecraft video? No, Lego. Lego. Woo. What are they building? They're building, well, they're not really, really they're, do, they're doing a copy of something, but in the rainbow colors. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Are you going to start doing something like that soon? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? I mean, there's a video on YouTube. Well, not YouTube, but building Lego things. Like, oh, yeah, we do do that. Yeah, you do do that. You said doo-doo. But maybe when you're a little older, you can start doing YouTube. Maybe I can teach you how to make a video. Like a legit YouTube video. We probably can make a video now of you building something. We just, it'll just be, we can like do a time lapse of your hands. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll speed it up. So like we'll film you for like an hour building something and then we'll just speed it up. Alright, well, I'm vlogging right now. Are you going to just keep watching your YouTube video? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll check in with you a little bit later, okay? Okay. Okay, bye. What? That girl doesn't ever say bye. Usually what she does is she's just like, she'll, she'll, she FaceTimes me and then she'll be like, I don't want to.
don't want to talk anymore. And then she just hangs up. And I'm like, you need to learn etiquette. <laughs> like, phone etiquette. Ugh. I hate when people don't say bye. It, it makes me sad. My mom used to always do that. Oh, I'm blurry again. My mom used to always do that. She'd just, like, hang up. And I would call. If I was, like, mad, I would call back and be like, you didn't say bye. And then she'll always be like, I did say bye. And I'm like, no, you just hung up. And then she'll be like, fine, bye. And then she'll hang up. <laughs> oh, man. Fun times. All right. Well, it's Saturday. I'm excited. I do have some work that I have to do. But nothing, hopefully nothing crazy. And hopefully stuff that I can finish fairly quickly. We'll see. Um, and then... And then I just want to, honestly, I was going to say I want to chill because I probably do need some chill time. But I think I might just do that tomorrow. And I think today might be my, like, do stuff day. Like, I want to get stuff done for my YouTube channel. I need to edit. I need to do all the advent calendars for my Vlogmas. But I have these two videos that I filmed literally, like, two weeks ago that I still haven't posted. So I want to edit those and post them. I have some mystery Funko Pop boxes I need to open and film. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this past week was definitely really, really crazy for me. It was really, really challenging. One of the most challenging weeks that I think I've had in a really long time. These are my clean clothes, if you were wondering. that From that one weekend, I don't think I told you guys, but I did like 10 loads of laundry. I don't like folding clothes. I probably should, but I don't. So it's all over there. But yeah, I um, this past week was really really tough so even though I have all these plans for this weekend I'm keeping them pretty minimal because I just think I need like I need some like calm down time like almost every night last week when it was time to like when you hit that time when you're like okay it's time to get you know I'm done working and now I'm gonna do this I didn't really have that last week because every time that happened something happened afterwards and it was like oh and so I just feel like my mind has been racing like racing to the point where I dream like I last night I dreamt about just it was like dreams about some of the stuff I've been dealing with and I was just like, oh, no one should dream about things like that. Like, no one should dream about things like that. I should have happier dreams, like opening a Pokemon cards or something. <sighs> and then I need to open up my own Pokemon cards because what happens is if I don't open up my own Pokemon cards enough or just po open up Pokemon cards in general, I start to watch all of those, like, uh, Pokemon streamers and then I buy packs for them to open for me. And it's like so over the, you know, I just, I have all those packs. So I don't need to be buying them from people. I should just open my own pack. So I need to get back on that so that I stop doing that. All right. I am going to, I'm thinking I'm going to get up for the day. If I sit in bed longer, it'll be bad. I did, did I tell you guys about my wedge pillow? I think I might have told you guys I got it on Amazon a couple days ago, so I've used it for like two or three days. Um, then my first two nights sleep was really, really good. Last night was okay. I went to bed last night with neck pain already, so like during the day at some point, my neck was just killing me. I've been getting headaches and just neck pain a little bit more, and so um, I think just because of that, it wasn't the best night's sleep, but for the most part, I think I really like this thing. And it's funny because, again, I got a bed that lifts up. And I was wondering, like, what's the difference? Why do I want to buy this giant wedge pillow when my whole bed rises? And I realized it's because I am a side, back, and stomach sleeper. I like to do all the things. And when your whole bed is that way, you can't really sleep on your stomach. So, like, when I sleep on my stomach, I don't sleep on my stomach on this thing. I usually roll over to, like, my body pillow or something, and I sleep on my stomach there. And then I roll back over, and then I, like, I sleep on my side here. And so this wedge pillow gives me the opportunity to do that because if I was... If my whole bed was like that, it would be really uncomfortable. Like, really, really uncomfortable to sleep on my stomach, you know? So I decided that's probably the reason why. That was me justifying. Amy would be like, you're just justifying. I'm like, yeah, I am. You're right. But yeah, it's been actually pretty good. I jinxed myself the other time I showed you guys my other pillow. Why? Uh, my camera. It just doesn't. It doesn't. At some point, I might look at getting a new camera, but... I don't think I'm there yet. I'm not vlogging consistently to do that. Um, but yeah, the other pillow, I just feel like I jinxed myself because I told you guys, like, oh, it's so great. And then, basically, it's this one. I've run into the issue with this one where, like, 
it was too fluffy, so I took stuffing out. Then I think I took too much stuffing out, so I put it back in. But then it was still too fluffy, so I took it out again. And now it's like okay, but I feel like I probably could take a little bit more out of this. And then it might be good for me. And then the one that has the little bump, was it this pillow? As per use, that one didn't work. I knew that one wasn't going to work because I've had that multiple times in my life. And it just, I... It just doesn't work for me, but I wanted to give it a shot because I thought, why not? So, literally in the past week, I've purchased, what, three different types of pillows. Somebody did say, actually, that I should get just a travel neck pillow, which I actually contemplated because, you know, one of the things, which I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this thing. Where is it? Oh, I'm all looking for it on my bed, and I totally forgot that it ran out of batteries last night, so I had to charge it. Um, this thing. So I got this. I saw, I'm one of those suckers that sees ads on, on Facebook. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to see if Amazon has that. So this is some kind of neck thing. And basically, I don't know if I've shown you this. You wear it around your neck. And it's basically like, has anyone done STEM? I think now it's like you can get it easily. But like when I was in, um, college, I used to do STEM and ice. So you would, um, like for my muscles, you would put the STEM pads on and then you put, cover it with, uh, ice and then it turns on and it's like, they, it sends, I don't know what it is, but like some kind of like, not electricity, but kind of like really low voltage between the two pads. And so it like, it, I don't know, like pulsates your muscles. I don't know what the, the, the medicine behind it is, but I used to do it all the time in college, um, at my trainers, like with, the. Uh, because I always had muscle issues. And so I got one for my neck. And it's actually been one of my favorite things. And before bed I'll wear it. And right now I always do the heat. And then I do like the variation mode. And then it's like level 3 or 4. And it just stems my neck. And um, so I really like that. And I also like the shape of this. I wish it wasn't so tight around my neck sometimes. Like around my front, the front part of my neck. But... When I fall asleep with it, it, like, actually gives me really good neck support, too. So, like, last night, I actually, like, was just wearing it to sleep. It's not co as comfortable because, obviously, it's, like, plastic. But it, like, gives me the perfect amount of neck support. It's, not, like, not too much or too little. Um, but, yeah, I did have to charge it last night because it ran out of battery. So, that's what I've been doing. I don't know. One day I'll find some magical cure and it'll be great. Okay, let's get the day started. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I've been talking for like eight minutes or ten, nine minutes or ten minutes. No, I'll have to edit some of this out. Ooh. Oh, look at me. I'm out of bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm dressed. I have clothes on. Boop, boop. Uh, I fed the cats. They're, uh, well, Tess and Cube are outside right now. Mac is still eating. And I'm going to eat some pork chops that I have left over from when my mom brought me the pork chops. You guys saw that. So this is the last of the pork chops. Boom, boom, bam. I was going to make some smoked trout toast because I have some like guacamole so I thought it'd be kind of fun to make like, I don't ever make like avocado toast or anything like that, but I have all the ingredients to make sort of a variation of that. So I contemplated it, but I'm going to finish the pork chops first because I don't want them to go bad. And I'm going to watch Grey's Anatomy, the new season. I watched half of the first episode. They really play off the pandemic. I'll be honest, I'm having a hard time keeping up with they're like flopping because clearly I think they filmed stuff pre-pandemic and so they're like doing flashbacks and then they're all wearing masks which is cool because obviously they're safe but it's hard to understand them sometimes. So anyways, I'm trying to get into it is what I'm trying to do. All right, I'm going to eat now. Pork chop yum. Thanks mom. Yes. I just want to tell you guys I decided that today was actually going to be my chill day and tomorrow will be my do stuff day because it's already like almost 6 o'clock. It's 5.30 and I've done nothing. I came down here at 11 at 8. I took a nap. I've been watching Grey's Anatomy. I took another nap. Um, and so yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to eat today. I'm just going to pretend like today was the day where I just get to relax because obviously that's what I did. And I have slept a lot, so I clearly needed some more sleep. I let Mac out, now he's scratching at the door. Hold on one second. Come on. Oh, look. It's all three of them. Are you guys gonna come inside? You gonna stay outside? Is it too cold? Okay, Mac's coming inside. Are you guys gonna come inside? Yes, no? Okay. The cat door. 
Ugh, my life would be so much easier if I had a cat door. Okay. Well, I have one more episode of Grey's Anatomy to catch up on. You know, I know that there was like, I think the last episode was probably the one, the last one I just saw was probably the one that everyone was like, oh my god. It was okay. Let me see if this one's good. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, here's where we're at. I am a disaster. I'm going to pause this because I... Dana was texting us about how she had C's candy, and I was like, C's candy? And I don't ever crave chocolate, but like, then I started craving C's candy. So I ordered a box that I can go pick up um, at the store down the street. I have Dana dropped off, Dana and Lola dropped off some empanadas. They're so delicious. And Sinagong. Sinagong? Sinagong? I don't know. It's some kind of Filipino soup that I love. So I'm excited to eat that. Chris also... When Dana dropped off the soup for Chris, she gave me a box. Oh, well, one came out, so I have to eat it. You want a box of these from Trader Joe's? These are delicious. I don't usually touch anything candy cane related, um, which is weird because I love mint. But in Christmas time, I'm like, they make everything peppermint, and I'm just like, no, these are so good. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, get those. They're delicious. Okay, I'm gonna get the cats back in. Um, I'll be honest, I have some sushi on the way, and then we're gonna go pick up C's candy. This is, a, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but I'm making some life adjustments right now, so tonight is the last night that I'll splurge on all of these things, hopefully. Okay guys, I'm home. I got my C's candy. I got a custom box, because I, like nuts and shoes, that's probably my number one, but um, I don't actually like all of the things that are in there, so I just got custom. I got some soft timers. I actually had a bunch of these from, we did at work, we did goodie bags, and I bought a bunch of these, but we ended up using them all. They also gave me these two cute little samples. I think these are the Scotch Mallows, I think, but I don't know. They look like Scotch Mallows, but maybe not as big. They look kind of small. I don't know. Let's see. You guys want to see what this chocolate looks like? Oh, it's it's cut. I mean, it's stamped. That makes sense. The the box feels like it's bulging. Oh, it's like wrapped. Oh, it's like wrapped. Oh, I have to unwrap it. Hold on. I forgot that they did this. It's like Christmas. I feel bad. I didn't need it wrapped. Obviously, this was just for myself. Um, this is a pound of C's candy. It's not the best deal. It's pretty expensive nowadays. It used to only be like 16 or 18 dollars a pound and now it's like expensive. Oh, is it wrapped again? No, it has a little sticker. Let's see. How do we... Okay. Here's a collection of my favorites. Well, some of these are my favorites. Some of them are not. So these are all brittles. These are scotch mallows. These are my favorite, the walnut ones. I got a couple almond ones. I think that's one caramel square, maybe? That's one of the ones with the marshmallow covered in caramel. That's a pecan with caramel. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Obviously when you're a kid uh, and people gift you C's candy, you just have to take whatever it is, right? And usually it's nuts and cheese, which is good. Uh, but then when you become an adult, it's like, wow. Instead of just buying a box of nuts to choose and not eating half the box, why not buy the chocolates that specifically you like? So, and I ordered it online because I thought that you couldn't go in the store. When I got there, there was a bunch of people in the store, but I still just ordered it online and just picked it up, which was nice. It was quick, quick and easy. Okay, I'm gonna keep eating a little bit more soup. That's my appetizer. Sushi's on the way. And then we're gonna have to do some stuff because I can't not get anything done. But I am gonna finish watching Grey's Anatomy. I only have a little bit left. I've been drinking lemon water all day. No tea. Maybe that's why I've taken a lot of naps. That could be it. This is seriously so good. Thank you so much, Lola. I love this. So good. Okay, sushi ride arrived. I made my sriracha soy sauce mix because I don't really like wasabi. I got this roll. It's because I saw this roll. I, I saw a similar roll on It's G's time and it looks so good. This is basically like a California roll topped with salmon. They sear it. I think it's topped with salmon belly. They sear it, but it, oh, it's California roll, but with shrimp tempura. So that looks pretty good. And then I got three pieces of salmon belly sashimi. Salmon belly is a little bit fatter than regular 
uh, salmon sashimi. So let's eat. Look at me. Look at me, guys. I'm in my filming room. It's kind of a disaster still. There's not garbage on the floor though because I cleaned that for garbage day. Uh, I'm getting ready to do all of our advent calendars and I need to do it for day 8, 9, 10, 11, and then today which is the 12th. So five days of advent calendars. We're going to do it right now. Yes. Oh, guys, guess what? It's just me and it's time for advent calendars because it's actually day 12. I'm filming on the actual day that it is. Surprise, surprise. Uh, let's go ahead and start with our sock advent calendar since they're right here. We are doing for day 12, even number, we have our Sorcerer's Stones, Women Harry Potter socks, and our Cat socks. So let's go ahead and do our Harry Potter socks. We're gonna pull from day six. What did we get? What did we get? We got blue socks, they're crew socks, and they are platform nine and three quarters. So, not too bad. Not my favorite though. And then let's see what cat socks we got for Chris. I don't even think Chris is watching Vlogmas, but this picture says, I really want you to pet me, but also kind of really want you want to bite you. That's so funny and so true. So funny and so true. Okay, so day six for our cat calendar. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, these socks are so cute. Hold on, let me show you. We got, <laughs> we got another pair of crew socks. Oh my gosh. This is what Cube looks like when he's sleeping, except he's not black. This literally, Cube is really big. I don't know what, like, Cube is real big, and he sleeps like this. I never thought I was going to have a cat that slept like that, because Mac is very, like, Mac is very polite and very, I feel like he's very regal the way he sleeps. He doesn't ever, like... He, do he doesn't ever sleep like that, but Cube totally sleeps like on his back, feet curled up, up in the air, stretched out, like he's just one of those guys. Oh my gosh, all of these poses that this cat is doing look like Cube. It's giving me some major Cube vibes right now. That's hilarious. Okay, I think Chris is going to love those. Let's go ahead and check out what we got for our Pokemon advent calendar. I apologize for the lighting. I probably should have turned on my light over there so that it was shining on me. What are we doing? Day 12 down here. Yesterday we got the really cool um, Ditto figure, which I really liked. Oh, we got Apom. Apom, the weird monkey that has a hand for a tail. Focus, focus. You can do it, camera, focus. Focus, camera, focus. Camera, you got it. Camera, you can do it. You can do it, camera. Can you do it? Can you do it? Yes! Okay, so we have a little Apom figure. Nothing too special. I do like his little, his little purple self though. I'm a fan of that. All right. Uh, Paka Paka? Yeah. And day 12. So even days we're doing the Toilet Ninja. Odd days we do Kawaii Village. I, I have to try to remember that. So this is our Toilet Ninja Paka Paka. This is definitely not my favorite set from this Paka Paka. I have no idea why I even bought this set, to be honest. Okay, let's see. Whoa. Okay, we got a little guy. Oh, this one's cute. I don't mind this one. We have a guy that's like meditating on the toilet and he's got a little, he's got a little bonsai tree behind him, which is cute. Um, let's see what... I probably should just keep one of these for each set on my desk, but I don't. I'm not sure why. Okay, so he's a super common, one in nine. So he's one of the, the lower ones, but I still like him. He's cool. There, And then we are going to end the night with... Well, actually, I don't know if my night's ending, to be honest, because I think I'm going to try to do a live stream, although it is kind of late. It's 8.22, but I might try to do, like, a quick late night live stream. Um... Pokemon cards. Let's go ahead and open up a pack of our Cosmic Eclipse. Why is this pack? I just don't want to open. Ugh. Put some muscle into it. 
Here's the code card for you. Ah, uh, green. There are some secret rares in this set though. So let's see if we got one of those. That secret rare always lives in the reverse hollow set. So it'd be right here. Oh, we got a secret rare! I don't have this one either. Neat. This is a full art coughing secret rare. Wow, look at that. I'm excited for this one. You know, I didn't realize this, but some of the secret rares from this set are actually um, going for a lot. If I think if you get them graded and, you know, you sell them. This one's a little bit off-centered. It's thin on the left, if you can see. But this one, oh, I love this card. I love purple's my favorite color. So I don't like coughing, but purple's my favorite color, and I love the artwork on this. Oh, very, very, very cool. Okay, hey, put that over there. Neat. I'm going to consider that one a win. I really enjoy that card. Oh, nice. It's always nice to get a, a hit when you pull a green code card. All right, I'm not ready to end my day yet, so I'm going to... I think I might try to set it for a live stream and see how that goes. I'm not sure. It's kind of late, so maybe... Actually, maybe I'll do one tomorrow morning. I think I should do one tomorrow morning because I think some of the, the late night ones are super fun and people come to them, but... I feel like the morning might be a little bit better because then maybe more people are awake. Because sometimes I do it like, if I start one now, it's already 8.30, which means 8, 9, 10. It's going to be 11.30 on the East Coast. That's kind of late. So yeah, maybe I'll just prep and then I'll do one for tomorrow. I might put some of my uh, Cosmic Eclipse cards away because I don't want them to fall down. And that's what does. Sometimes it's time consuming with Pokemon cards, like to actually sort them. So... We'll have to do that and I want to edit one of my videos that I posted two weeks ago that I want to post so that I can post it and then keep filming I'm just behind in general I'm behind in life